The starting point for any discussion on HPLC columns, of course, has to be a recognition that an HPLC column is, in fact, a consumable item in liquid chromatography. And that means that, much as we hate to admit it, sooner or later that column will wear out. Uh, it will have to be replaced. Uh, of course, what we'd like to do is we'd like to postpone that day of replacement, that day of reckoning, as far as possible. Now, the fact is that even though every HPLC column will die eventually, uh, most of them actually don't die a natural death. Most HPLC columns are murdered. Okay, uh, we choke them. Okay, we plug up the frit or the column either with precipitates or particulate matter. Uh, blunt force trauma, we beat them up. Okay, uh, we develop head spaces, void spaces at the top of the column. We poison them with impurities adsorbed from the sample or from the mobile phase, or we operate them under conditions, uh, harsh chemical environments, where we cleave off the bonded phase or dissolve away the silica gel. Well, all of that said, uh, HPLC columns, even though they are consumables, are actually quite robust and quite rugged. And in fact, the four things that we've just mentioned here and that are listed on this slide are really the only things that we can do that will actually kill a column. Now, from the point of view of diagnostics, uh, it would be very nice, given four causes of column death, it would be very convenient if we could come up with an unequivocal set of four symptoms so that we could match up symptom and uh, cause.